Hello, young math enthusiasts. Are you ready for some fun with division? Dive right into our math quiz for kids channel for exciting division challenges. And if you're ready to test your skills, give us a thumbs up and subscribe right away. divided by 3 is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 15 by 3. Each group contains 3 units, so dividing 15 by 3 results in 5 equal groups. Thus, the result is 15 divided by 3 equals to 5. Twelve divided by 2 is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 12 by 2. Each group contains two units, so dividing 12 by 2 results in six equal groups. Thus, the result is 12 divided by 2 equals to 6. 30 divided by 6 is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 30 by 6. Each group contains 6 units, so dividing 30 by 6 results in 5 equal groups. Thus, the result is 30 divided by 6 equals to 5. 14 divided by 7 is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 14 by 7. Each group contains 7 units, so dividing 14 by 7 results in 2 equal groups. Thus, the result is 14 divided by 7 equals to 2. 24 divided by 6 is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 24 by 6. Each group contains 6 units, so dividing 24 by 6 results in 4 equal groups. Thus, the result is 24 divided by 6 equals to 4. 32 divided by 4 is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 32 by 4. Each group contains 4 units, so dividing 32 by 4 results in 8 equal groups. Thus, the result is 32 divided by 4 equals to 8. 28 divided by 4 is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 28 by 4. Each group contains 4 units, so dividing 28 by 4 results in 7 equal groups. Thus, the result is 28 divided by 4 equals to 7. 42 divided by 7 is time to think.
Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 42 by 7. Each group contains 7 units, so dividing 42 by 7 results in 6 equal groups. Thus, the result is 42 divided by 7 equals to 6. Sixty-four divided by eight is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number sixty-four by eight. Each group contains eight units, so dividing sixty-four by eight results in eight equal groups. Thus, the result is 64 divided by 8 equals to 8. 56 divided by 7 is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 56 by 7. Each group contains 7 units, so dividing 56 by 7 results in 8 equal groups. Thus, the result is 56 divided by 7 equals to 8. 8. What is 16 divided by 8? Picture this. You have 16 objects to divide into groups of 8. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Let's imagine you have 16 objects. Can you picture them lined up? Now, think about splitting them equally into smaller groups. What is 9 divided by 3? Picture this. You have nine objects to divide into groups of three. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Let's imagine you have nine objects. Can you picture them lined up? Now, think about splitting them equally into three groups. What is 10 divided by two? Picture this. You have 10 objects to divide into groups of two. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Let's imagine you have 10 objects. Now think about splitting them equally into smaller groups of two. What is 80 divided by eight? Picture this. You have 80 objects to divide into groups of 8. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Let's imagine you have 80 objects. Can you picture them lined up? Now, think about splitting them equally into smaller groups of 8. What is 90 divided by 9? Picture this. You have 90 objects to divide into groups of 9. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Let's picture you have 90 objects. How about arranging them into smaller groups where each group consists? What is 30 divided by 3? Picture this.
have 30 objects to divide into groups of three. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Let's imagine you have 30 objects. Can you picture them lined up? Now, think about splitting them equally into smaller groups of What is 60 divided by 6? You have 60 objects that you need to divide into groups of 6. How many groups would you have? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Imagine you have 60 objects. Can you see them all lined up? What is 50 divided by 5? Picture this. You have 50 objects to divide into groups of 5. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Imagine you have 50 objects. Can you picture them lined up? Now think about splitting them equally into smaller groups of 5. What is 8 divided by 4? Imagine this. You have eight objects to divide into groups of four. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Let's imagine you have eight objects. Can you picture them lined up? Now, think about splitting them equally into smaller groups of What is 72 divided by nine? Picture this. You have 72 objects to divide into groups of 9. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Imagine you have 72 objects. Now, think about splitting them equally into smaller groups of 9. How many did you get right? We bet you did awesome! Remember, practice makes perfect! Don't forget to click the like button if you had fun and subscribe so you can join us for even more division quiz adventures. Let's keep the math magic alive.